everyone and welcome to XX Mouth Potato Kitchen! Today we're making cheese potato puff. Mashed potato with a lot of cheese, obviously. And once you mix all the potato with cheese and everything, you put that into the oven until it gets crispy. It's interesting. And I also did with those potato some cheese stick potato nugget, kind of. You'll see at the end. So this is what the potato looked like once I took them out of the oven. They were crispy on top, they were cheesy, they were good. So cheesy, so tasty, so good. So what you need to do for this recipe is you need to boil the potatoes until they are fork tender. And you need about five pounds of potato. I've used 10, so what you'll see is gonna be doubled of what I'm saying, but just just look at the recipe. I've put the ingredients on my website, on coffee, down below, everywhere. And if you don't see the ingredient, let me know. I'll send you the list. <laughs> then you want to start the cheese mixture, which you'll need butter, milk, cheese, and some egg at the end, and whatever herbs you may like. What I would eat, add as well is some spices, which I will add later. Um, the egg, you will only put them once the potatoes are cooked, but until they are ready, you crumble them and put them aside. Here I brought some spices that weren't in the recipe at the beginning that I decided to include to give more flavor, as usual. What you'll need to start with is some butter. You will need 3 quarter cup of butter, ideally cubed so that it melts faster, but I didn't cube it, I just put it into the pan until it was fully melted and apparently I struggled for an eternity unwrapping this packaging. So if it's already unwrapped from the packaging, you will not struggle like this. I had to put more, remember, because this is not three quarter cup. <laughs> I doubled everything. So you need to melt the butter in the saucepan. While the butter is melting, it's time to shred your cheese. You need two cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Here I have some sharp cheddar cheese and I thought it would give more flavor, but I would say I would add some parmesan into this as well because it lacked a little bit of the cheese flavor. So now that the cheese is melted, I added a teaspoon of smoked paprika, teaspoon of garlic powder, some salt, some pepper, and a cup of milk. I used cashew milk because that's what I have. You add that into the sauce mix and you cook until it's hot. Once that you notice that the milk and butter mixture is starting to get hot enough to melt the cheese. You want to add two cup of shredded cheese. It can be two generous cup of cheddar cheese. And you want to mix that with the sauce until all the cheese is fully melted. Once the cheese is fully melted and that the potatoes are cooked, you want to drain the potato, mash them with nothing. And once they are partially mashed, you want to add the cheese mixture. Look how orange it is. Wow pretty and you want to mix the potato in and as you can see I had 10 pounds of potato in here and it was still pretty liquidy but once you add the egg it kind of cooks in the potatoes and it made it less liquidy then you want to add that into a oven safe container and put it into the oven for 40 minutes without cover at 350 until it's puffy and golden brown you can add some chives on top like I did and you serve that for whatever you want to eat potatoes with. And since I had that much potato left, I decided to do another recipe with because I had a lot of leftover in the fridge. Because this recipe made a lot of leftovers. So what I did is I took some alumi cheese, because that's what I had in my fridge, but some mozzarella would be even better. It would be trickier to work with because mozzarella melts quickly and halloumi does not really melt. It does melt, but much slower. What you need is you'll need some potatoes, some flour, some eggs, and some panko or breadcrumbs. Your choice. And I added some thyme in the potato and it was really good. I highly suggest adding thyme into the potato before you cook them so you can put that into the butter mixture. I will add that into the ingredient actually. So here you see I added some thyme into the mashed potatoes because it gave them a really really good flavor. And I took some potato in my end and I wrapped it around one of the alumi cheese that is now cut. Once I had a nice ball and the cheese was fully covered, I dipped it in flour egg until fully coated and then again in the panko. 
And I repeated that process until I had no potato left. But as you can see, I have cheese left. So, as a bonus third recipe, how to make alumi cheese stick. So the lazy way, which is the less messy way as well, is to put the flour into a container that can be closed, add the cheese, shake the container with the cheese and flour in, then open the container and dip them all into an egg, egg mixture. I eventually used the fork to mix it all. I could have used a bigger bowl to make it easier. Then once it's all dipped into the egg, put it into a container with some panko or breadcrumb, shake it, and then it's ready. Then you just need to remove the cheese bits from the panko, put that 30 minutes into the freezer, and then you can start cooking. I cook them into the air fryer, but this recipe is normally done in a regular fryer, an oil fryer, but I didn't have that. So I did it in the air fryer, and it was really good. The only downside I would say is that they didn't really hold, but I think that's because of the type of potato that I used. But it was really, really tasty. So I put them 10 minutes, then after 10 minutes I flipped them, put them another 10 minutes, and this is the end result. I don't have any video of the cheese stick because I didn't do that the same day, but they look pretty much the same. It was really, really, really tasty. It was good. It was cheesy. And yeah so this is today's recipe i hope you guys enjoyed it it was really good it was pretty easy to do as well it's not my favorite mashed potato recipe but if you like to spend a lot of time on your potatoes because you need to boil them mash them and then cook them another 40 minutes so in my opinion i don't think those potatoes are worth it i think they are probably better ways to make some cheesy potato and i think a scallops potato would be even more good than spending all this time on those potatoes. So that's for today's video. I, as usual, I'm trying out those recipe here. This cookbook, it is reversed, I know. But if you wanna know why I'm doing so many potatoes, it's because here we lie of potatoes. And I have this book of 365 potato recipe that I've been gifted for Christmas. So I am trying to do them all. And this was today's recipe. How do I pick them? Random. <laughs> whatever fits whatever I have in my pantry. And that's how they get released. I have a few more recorded that are coming soon. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoy potatoes because we're going to have a shit ton of them. And if you want to see all of the other recipe I did from this book, there is a playlist from the potato book. So click on that. Go watch this. And I'll see you guys next week. For another video and it's gonna be burritos yes see you next time bye